It's like being hugged by an angel. I borrowed a pair for my son and didn't want to give him that. So I ordered a dozen for myself. You better keep those somewhere safe. I was given a pair of Bombas by my sister. Since then, there's no turning back. I only wear Bombas. Gone are the days of my husband complaining about uncomfortable underwear. He loves these. And we love our customers. That's why all Bombas clothing is carefully designed for soft materials. With thoughtful comfort tweaks, like making everything tagless, seamless, and perfectly smooth. Plus, since socks, t-shirts, and underwear are the three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters, every Bombas item you buy is matched by a donation to those in need. Get 20% off your first purchase at bombas.com slash CNN. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash CNN. Bombas.com slash CNN. At least 17 people are dead after a boat capsized in the Bahamas. Officials believe the victims were migrants being smuggled from Haiti to the United States. CNN's Matt Rivers has the story. Well, what authorities in the Bahamas are saying likely happened here was that it was around 1 a.m. early on Sunday morning when a twin-engine speedboat carrying about 60 people left the coast of one of the islands in the Bahamas called New Providence. And it was shortly thereafter that authorities say they responded to an incident involving that boat. And when they got to the scene roughly seven miles off the coast, they recovered the bodies of 17 Haitians. Recovering those bodies, finding out 15 of them were female, one of them was male, and the last body uh, being that of an infant. They also say they rescued some 25 people from the water. They say they're investigating this as a human trafficking incident and say the likely destination of this speedboat was Miami, Florida. And we know that the number of patients seeking to make these journeys uh, to try and get to the United States via boat, those journeys have been increasing as of late. Just look at the numbers from the United States Coast Guard. It was in late June that the Coast Guard put out a press release saying that they had intercepted more than 6,000 people from Haiti trying to get to the United States by boat since October of 2021. That number is roughly four times the amount of people from Haiti that were intercepted in a similar manner in all of the previous fiscal year. That is a clear trend there. And while every single migrant has his or her own individual story about why they are going to the United States, what is true is that the broader trends going on in Haiti right now affect everyone. You have huge levels of poverty, of hunger, food scarcity. You have a political vacuum that has been left since that country's president was assassinated in July of 2021. And in part, that vacuum has led okay. to incredible levels of gang violence that have just decimated huge portions of the capital city of Port-au-Prince. That has created a massive number of internally displaced people, some of whom have tried to migrate.